Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me Mystery Flipping, my name is Josh, I hope you are all well. So um, I have just recorded my um, uh, Chase and Pops Mystery Box, if you haven't seen it go back and check it, it was a really good um, uh, box, I really did enjoy it. Um, but today is Mail Day Monday, even though it's not Monday theoretically, it's Friday, but this will be released on Monday. Um, and like I said in the previous video, there are a lot of new things coming to this channel. I'm trying to spread out the pop figures um, boxes because, of course, I don't want to bore you all with the same sort of pops um, and the same sort of boxes. So I'm trying to spread them out um, through either Mail Day Mondays, um, small company mystery boxes. Like I said, I've still got Demise still to come. Um, one thing I will state is I have a massive collection that I have just purchased. Um, I don't know anyone that is kind of an OG from this channel would have known that I bought a £1,100 collection back at the beginning of my YouTube. Um, and I have purchased again from the same lovely lady, um, a little bit smaller um, collection, but it's still worth um, just uh, over £600. And um, I just got a really good deal. So if you're a massive Harry Potter fan, um, some um, Disney's in there, then you'll definitely want to stick around for that when it arrives. Um, and then, of course, like I say, we've got a few things coming from Demise Collectibles. And like I said, I still have my uh, pop figures and Battle of the Brands uh, videos that I have already recorded that will start to go live. Um, I think Battle of the Brands is going to be out every Wednesday for now um, until the uh, conclusion, just so that we are spreading out and not boring, like I said, um, with just pop figures. So in this video, we have two pops um, and something a little bit different but still Funko um, something that I've never collected never opened on this channel either um, but I'm starting to um, potentially collect a lot more so one of these is a pre-order and I'm a little bit worried because the pre-order has got a nasty a ding in it so I am praying the pop inside this isn't damaged this is from popsyoulike.co.uk this is the first ever time I purchased off of them but I wanted to because it was a um, pop that I really wanted um, and this, I believe, I bought off a lovely lady called Kim. Um, and I've sold to this lady before, and I have also purchased off of this lady before. Um, and if this is the pop that I think it is, I'm praying. I could look like a donkey here, if it's not what I think it is. Um, this should be a Disney pop that I got um, on the quite cheap. It's got a little bit of damage to it, but it's a pop that I kind of wanted. Um, for a while, it's a fairly cheap pop. Um, it's not like a grail or anything, um, but it's one of them that I have wanted for some time, and it is the pop that I thought it was, so that is good. So it is the Beast from um, Beauty and the Beast. So tiny bit of damage, nothing major. In fact, to be fair, I mean, there's a little crease here. Oh, it was on the back, that was it. Um, it. There was just a little ding here. You can't really see it, um, but I really don't care about back damage. Um, it's the front that you care about. You know, I display them like this. I don't display them like that. <laughs> so um, for me, as long as the front is fine, I really am not that bothered. Um, and this is a really nice pop. Um, I just need to get Belle um, and I'll be quite content um, because this was one of the first films that me and um, my daughter's mum watched when we were together um and this is one of them that means kind of a lot because i always have associated myself as kind of the beast um so i do really like this pop a lot um so i cannot complain with that and very well packaged kim so i appreciate that a lot now we'll go on to um the pre-order and i think i paid about 30 pounds for this pop i think it was about that um and this probably will go into a mini grail eventually one day it's um other pop of it definitely is um quite an expensive pop so i am just praying that this is the correct pop Doo -doo -doo. Packaging is okay. Where was that thing? Where was that thing? Oh, we might be all right. If it is, it's only the top corner. Okay. Packaging. 
is good. I just like to keep a pop you like. You need to make a sticker. I like having stickers. The only thing that worries me, please tell me, that that isn't a sticker on the front of it. It's not. That's alright then. So, it is actually a discount code, valid until 31st of December, which is not any use now. Let me just check this before I show. Yeah, this pop is in immaculate condition. This is great. So, we have, if you guys remember, probably a month and a half, two months ago, now on Mail Day Monday, we got the um, Trick or Treat Deluxe. But now, we have the other Sam. This is um, Sam with Razor Candy. It is very hard to see. Um, one, because the lighting is absolutely dreadful. Um, but I absolutely love this film, and I absolutely love Sam. Um, I think this is one of the best um, characters from a horror um, ever made. And that's my personal opinion. Of course, everyone is different. But this, I think, will turn into quite a major grail um, one day. I mean, all the Sams are roughly about £60. So I don't mind paying £30 pound, um, for them when they're brand new. Um, so I definitely had to purchase this. So I'm very, very, very glad. Now, on to this. Now, this should be a auction win that I won on Facebook. And if this is all what I think it is, um, this should all just be common. Um, I didn't really care about that. It was just to start me off. And we have a load of wrapping. And it is what I thought it was. Sweet. It's bigger than I thought. Jesus Christ. We have Funko sodas. So I know that these are all common. And they were all still in the packaging. So as you can see, we have the Joker. It's still in its packaging. But I will open these so that we can actually see. There are two duplicates, so I won't actually open um, the duplicate ones. But these are because I want to start collecting these a lot more. Um, and I actually didn't think these Funko sodas were as big as they are. Um, but geez. So the first one we have is of course the bog standard Joker. Um, which I very much like a lot. I'll put them back in in a minute. Um, I just don't want to. Um, again... I actually like these tins a lot. I think these are something a little bit different. Um, and the Joker, of course, is one out of 12,500. Um, and there's 15,000 in total on this one. Um, I also did buy um, a Funko Soda coming from Ireland from um, M's Collectibles. Bought that today. Um, this is one of the duplicates that we have. And it is um, Samurai Jack. This is 10,000 and one of 8,400. Again, it is closed. But we will, of course, open them. But I just like these. I think these are different. Um, and also, when I get a bookcase to actually display this all, when I actually do eventually move, um, I want these at the front. But, of course, we have our Samurai Jack. So, really cool. Then, where are we? I'm just going to show you this because it is another Samurai Jack and I just want to show you that I'm not opening this one because it is just a normal common. Again, it's not opened, um, but I will be selling this one. Um, so be warned if you do see this one up for sale. Then we have another duplicate that we have is this one. And if you guys um, saw Chasing... Um, Chasing Pops mystery box. I said to you that this will go really well with something that I was opening today. And it is this. It is one of 10,000. And we have, when I can open it. If I can open it. It is stuck to something. I don't know what it's stuck on, but it's definitely stuck on something. It is stuck on the plastic. 
This is probably my favorite, or one of my favorites. It's Muttley. Um, so, of course, Wacky Racers. Um, I absolutely love Muttley. I think he's one of the best characters um, in a cartoon. Um, but as I said, I do have a duplicate of him. Um, and again, as I show you, it's just a common. So he's one of 10,000. So I'm not going to open that one. And it will, of course, be up for sale. Then I have these. And they are the same, but different. There is no chases. This is one of 12,500. And this is all sealed. Why does it always have to be stuck on something? We have old school Pennywise. Funko Soda. Um, of course, it's just the common, but I love Pennywise, um, and it was just to go with my It collection. But you can't go with an It collection without this one as well. One of seventeen thousand, and I think now that I said without this one, we all pretty much know which one this is. This is of course the new Pennywise Funko Soda. So. We have two epic Funko Zodas in Pennywise. Um, of course, these are all common, but I don't mind. We, of course, have our Joker, a Muttley, and a Samurai Jack. So, personally, I think that's really good. Um, I actually spent £38 all in for these. And like I said, I've got two duplicates that, of course, I will sell. Um, but like I said... Um, I wanted to win both auctions purely because it was from the same buyer, but they had um, Pennywise, the two Pennywise, the Muttley and the Samurai Jack together, and then they had the Joker and the um, Muttley and Samurai Jack, and I actually wanted the Joker. So I thought, why not buy them both and recoup a little bit of money back? Um, I'd probably end up back getting sort of £16 um, back for both of them, so, you know, kind of makes it down to nearly £20 all in four five sodas so i cannot complain there um but that is it for our mail day monday i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave me a massive like tell me what um you actually like the most for me um even though i love the beast and i love um sam a lot i think these funko sodas are pretty epic and i actually thought they were smaller than this so actually having them in my hands um i've realized how big these are and i think they're absolutely amazing um, of course, um, subscribe if you're new around here. Um, we are on the road to 300. We are smashing it at the moment. Thank you guys so much. And of course, um, stay safe. That is the most important thing, especially in these times. Just stay safe. And of course, until next time, guys, I shall see you all.